Привет! It's only PvP Cat and I want to apologize. In one of my testing videos I made a wrong conclusion from my testing results and in this video I want to fix this and make a more closer look on uh, Dead Eye restoring abilities in Red Dead Online such as Eye for an Eye or the Gift of Focus. At first let's take a closer look on how Dead Eye Restoration works in this game. So before you saw this test when I was shooting my target with a shotgun to the body and now I'm shooting with the leech field repeater in a head. So in both cases we restored exactly 10% of our Dead Eye bar. Any kill grants you 10% of your dead eye bar. And now let's test this with first of our restoration abilities with eye for an eye ability. So we are shooting straight in the head because it's work only for headshots and as you can see on the screen we're restoring twice more dead eye. It means 20%. Body shot kills restores 10% just like they should from the description. And now we are getting closer to the point where I gave you misleading information. So I made a test with eye for an eye using dead eye ability and I saw that when you're using pretty much any dead eye ability and your dead eye is active you would restore not 20 but 10% of your dead eye bar. So I made the conclusion that eye for an eye just simply don't work when you're using dead eye. And I tested this with slow and steady with pretty much any dead eye ability and always I restored only 10%. But you know what? I was wrong and I'm sorry and now I'm gonna show you why. Now we're gonna do the test of how much you're gonna restore from the kill without eye for an eye but using that eye. And as you can see we don't restore anything. So we are restoring 10% when using eye for an eye in a dead eye. Not because eye for an eye doesn't work but because you don't get this base 10% of restoration for kill when you using dead eye ability. And now I'm gonna show you the same test but with a body shots with a shotgun. And again I'm gonna use dead eye ability and as you can see I'm not gonna restore any dead eye. So I'm sorry actually eye for an eye is a good ability. I said it's useless it's a good ability, it's just a mechanics work in a weird way. And now let's test another ability card that helps us to restore the die. It's a gift of focus. So how should it work at least? It should improve the amount of dead eye you restoring from other abilities such as eye for an eye obviously and uh, food and tonics I guess. So we are doing headshots and you can see the result. We restored 25% instead of 20% of our bar, which is not a significant improvement. Also I tested this setup with dead eye active and it restores 15% of your dead eye bar. So basically gift of focus gives you another 5% of uh, dead eye bar restored when you are using eye for an eye. And I must mention that if I had full core status I would restore more. But just for the sake of testing I was always tested with this empty dead eye status. So if this ability is good I'm not quite sure. On the one hand it actually gives us additional 5% of dead eye bar from each headshot which is pretty good and if you are really good at uh, making headshots it's gonna give you a lot of dead eye restoration. But on the other hand we have to spend money and we have to spend an ability slot. So it's up for you to decide. And it also decreases our damage. But from the description Description, the gift of focus also should increase other sources of uh, dead eye and I think like tonic. So I made this test. On the left screen you can see me using dead eye with unblinking eye ability card but without gift of focus. In the middle screen you can see me doing the same but with the gift of focus. And on the right screen you can see me doing pretty much the same but I drink my level 1 dead eye tonic 
after I put the gift of focus into ability card slot. And as you will see from the results in a second, the gift of focus doesn't affect the unblinking eye and it just doesn't improve the effect of tonics for a dead eye that you are using. So basically I believe the only effect it gives you is improving the effect of eye for an eye ability. And I played a little bit of PvP with the setup eye for an eye plus gift of focus and found out that the level of dead eye restoration is, is okay I would say. Even when I was playing with the bow and I wasn't like headshotting here and there like I would with double pistols or Evans, it still were enough of one tonic for dead eye for the whole game but on the other hand if i was using let's say unblinking eye instead of eye for an eye i think that it would be uh, pretty much the same result so if you have unblinking eye i'm not quite sure whether you need this gift of focus ability card but it's okay it's a decent choice and again i'm sorry for giving you misleading information about this eye for an eye ability and i believe that someone in a comment either on English or Russian channel pointed to this problem that this test might not be correct because I have to make a test without eye for an eye using dead eye. So as you can see it's very important to write a comments especially such a good comments and constructive uh, critics so please feel free to write uh, comments and thank you for watching goodbye.